Welcome back to our new lesson. Today, we are going to learn about mathematics. Hmm, sounds hard, right? Well, for some people, they might consider this subject is too difficult to learn. Don't worry, we are not going to learn about math itself. Today, we will learn about the language of algebra, how to translate from English to math. Are you ready? Let's check this out. Okay, hello. Today, we are going to learn about uh, how to write and sing number in English. So, how to translate from English into math or vice versa. There will be some slides over here. I would like to, I would like you to pay attention on this slide. First, we are going to start uh, learning about the type of number here. As we know that there are three types of number. There are cardinal number, ordinal number, and nominal number. Uh, for cardinal numbers, it represents how many of something, like 1, 2, 3, 4. While in ordinal number, it tells us the position of something in a list. Uh, so, this is what we are going to learn about ordinal numbers. Uh, you can see uh, there is... A difference with the way we pronounce this kind of ordinal number like first second third fourth yeah okay it might represent uh, the portion of something in a list for example I'm the first child in my family I'm the last child in my family or I was born on 1st December 1980 yeah and so forth and this is another use of uh, ordinal number in fraction so if you look at the denominator from this fraction, uh, mostly they use uh, the ordinal number. So you cannot use the cardinal number here. Uh, you have to say like a half, one third, one fourth, one twelfth, one sixteen, two thirds, three quarters, and nine tenths. So this is the use of uh, ordinal number in fraction. And this is the more complex fraction. Uh, which you can have another option uh, to use over instead of using uh, ordinal number for the denominator here. So if you have the big number, you can use over here 19 over 56 or 31 over 144. And then we also have a complex fraction here. Uh, please make sure you use connector here to connect uh, the front number and the fraction like this, two and a half. 5 and 2 thirds or 5 and a quarter, okay? And so this is the way how you can use fraction in describing the data from a chart or maybe graph uh, instead of using percentage to describe the result of the data. You also can use fraction like a fifth of the teacher question about uh, the remote learning style during uh, COVID-19 outbreak yeah so instead of using 20% or percentage uh, you can use fraction here uh, for example like this this is another sample of how we can use fraction in describing the data from a pie chart here uh, I already highlighted the uh, the word in red highlight Three quarters of the population has moved to look for a more peaceful environment. So uh, you can use fraction instead of using percentage in describing the data from a uh, diagram, chart, or maybe a uh, bar chart or table. Okay, now we move to this slide. Uh, so we are going to learn about uh, mathematical expression. There are at least three types of uh, mathematical expression. The first one, uh, we start with numerical expression, which uh, this expression contains number and indicates at least one math operation without equal. And then the second one, algebraic expression, uh, it contains one or more variables and math operation. So it contains number and also contain the math operation. And then the last one is variable. So this is a symbol which usually uh, represent, which usually it is represented, uh, represented in a letter or a number. So there is a letter which represents a number. Okay. And then this is the mathematical symbols which commonly used in mathematical operation. At least uh, you have to keep it in your mind. Uh, this is the few symbol that we commonly use, like uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Okay, so I would like you to pronounce yeah, all together, maybe like plus, minus, subtract, times, multiplied by, 
divided by equals percent 3 squared 5 cubed 6 to the power of 10 and square root of. And this is the variety of words which you can use to uh, represent addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So um, there are some similarities among these words, yeah, uh, based on the uh, categories over here. And uh, it's quite possible for you to use um, this kind of words yeah, whenever it comes to math operation. All right. Now we move to this slide. Uh, so this is the simple math operation that we can use using the uh, words uh, in the previous slide. This is the way how we can write down the following uh, word as algebraic, algebraic expression. So uh, the very first thing you have to do when it comes to a phrase or sentences like this, uh, you have to underline the number first. So you have to define uh, the number uh, so you have to define the word which represent the number from this word. Like for number one, uh, you have to highlight the a number uh, which represent a variable. And then six here, uh, you can write down the number, the numerical, and then the operation here. Okay. Uh, and then another sample, number two, twice number minus seven. We have to highlight the number first and then uh, move the highlight on the operation and then number uh, number three uh, we also do the similar thing like before we highlight the number and then the operation so this is the simple basic math operation that you can use using the previous math symbol or uh, math words yeah Okay, uh, this is the uh, important information for you to know so if uh, in case you uh, found this kind of word like less than subtracted from and taken from you have to write the expression backwards so you have to write down from uh, the last word and then uh, to the front word okay uh, for these three words less than subtracted from taken from now this is the sample uh, for example like this write the following as algebraic expression for number one five taken from a number so this is the uh, another word that we have to pay attention. The very first thing to do, you have to highlight the number first, okay? And then we move to the operation here. So for the highlighted, we have five and a number uh, for the variable. And then for the operation, we have the word taken from. So we have to uh, write down the number or the operation backwards like this. Okay, so we start with the number, the variable, and then the operation, and then the uh, numerical number 5. The next one, a number less than 2, we have to highlight the number first, and then the operation. So we have to write down backwards here. And then number 2, you put number 2, and then operation uh, for minus here, and then uh, the variable x here. And then it also happens for number three, five less number. But again, we have to take a look at the operation here. We have less only without then. So it's going to be different uh, compared with the previous number here because we only have the, uh, the operation less here. So it's not necessary for you to write down the back uh, using uh, backwards here. So you only have to write down the number in order. This one, five minus x or 5 minus variable uh, because uh, this is not the word uh, this is not the uh, operation which you have to write down the number backwards and then for number four uh, four subtracted from twice a number again here the word subtracted from so you have to write down backwards like this Twice a number, it represents two times, yeah? So you have to write down the number 2 here, and then variable x, and then uh, the subtraction, and then uh, number 4, okay? So uh, this is the sample how you can take a look at the word uh, on those three words, which represent subtraction, like taken from, less than, and subtracted from. Uh, you have to write down uh, backwards, now, math operation in parentheses. 
So it's going to be different like the previous one because uh, you have to group all the numbers together into one parenthesis because it clarify numbers. It indicates the multiplication, grouping the number together in order uh, for the math operation. For example, number one, we have the word the sum of five and a number. So here, uh, the use of determiner the here, and then the, addi uh, the addition sum, and then using the proportion of. So it indicates uh, that you have to group all the number into one parenthesis, grouping all the number together. So this one, this is the way how you can write down the operation. You have to write down the number five, and then addition, and then variable x, and then make sure you put the parenthesis. It means that you group the number in the order of math operation. And then the second one, the product of a number and eight. So it indicates a uh, math operation in parenthesis also. The product, it indicates the multiplication. So you can write down here the variable x and then multiplication and then number eight. Make sure you put all the number into one bracket here. Number three, twice the difference of number and seven. We have twice here, it represents two times, and then the difference of. So this is another word, how you can uh, mention the subtraction. And then a number, it indicates the variable and seven. Okay, so this is the way how you can write down the operation. You write down the number two here, and then Parenthesis, you put the variable, minus, and 7. The last one, twice the number decreased by 6. Okay, we have the word twice here, so you have to write down two times. And then the number here for the variable, decreased by 6. Okay, so this is the way how you can write down uh, the math operation. It's going to be different with number 3. Uh, if you look at the position of operation here, you have to put, for number three, you have to put it into uh, one parenthesis because uh, the placement or the position of determiner and operation here in front of the uh, variable. While well, for the operation here, uh, it's not necessary for you to put all the number together into in parenthesis. Okay. Next. So, this is how you can translate into words. Uh, there are three uh, samples here. Uh, you can take a look at number one, two, and three. This is the way how you can uh, translate this math operation in English. We can use the word the opposite of minus three plus a number. And then this one, a number cubed times five. The last one, the difference of a number and twelve. So we can group all this number in parentheses and then comma uh, divided by two. Okay, next, translating equation. Uh, so this is a variety of uh, word you can use to represent equation. Like this, for example, number one, uh, we can use the word is here. Yeah, you can take a look at the highlight word, highlighted word here, is. It means equation. It represents equation, and then you can also another. Uh, you can also have another word like equal to. It has similar meaning like is, so it represents the equation also, and then gives us. Gives us is also another uh, variety of word which represent equation. Okay. All right. So this is the last one. Uh, you can try to write down each uh, verbal phrase as an algebraic expression here, uh, write down the English word here into math operation. Okay, good luck. That's all for today. Hope you can gain some new insights. Thanks for watching and see you on other next videos. Bye-bye.